Hi and welcome to Dr. Anima Upadhyay's Chemistry Lab videos and Chemistry and Technology videos. In today's video, we will learn the possible viva posi questions and their answers on the topic Determination of Aluminium with EDTA Titrimetric Method. But before we start this video, I would like you to please subscribe to my channel if you have not done it so far. Let's begin with the possible questions and their answers on the topic. Can aluminium be determined using EDTA? Yes, it can be determined using EDTA. Can aluminium be directly titrated with EDTA? No, aluminium cannot be directly titrated with EDTA. How aluminium can be titrated with EDTA? It can be titrated using back titration method with EDTA. Why some metal ions are not determined by direct titration with EDTA? Stable complex formation of some metal ions with EDTA is not only a slow process, but here the metal ions ends up with blocking of indicator also. Thus, in direct titration with EDTA, the blocked indicator cannot release the metal ions. Hence, no change in color can be observed at the end point during the titration. Therefore, they can only be determined using back titration method. Why direct determination of aluminium with EDTA is not possible? The complexation reaction of aluminium with EDTA is not only extremely slow, but it also blocks the indicator, thereby making the direct titration impractical or impossible. Under what conditions does aluminium react with EDTA under hot conditions and a pH adjusted to around 10, aluminium reacts with EDTA forming aluminium EDTA complex. How does heating helps in back titration method of aluminium? Heating not only prevents blocking of indicator but also facilitates formation of aluminium EDTA complex. When indicator should be added to aluminium EDTA solution. Solution should be heated prior to the addition of indicator to it. That means the indicator should be added to the solution which is already heated, brought to a boil and cooled. What is the name of the indicator employed and how is it abbreviated? Aerochrome black T is used as the indicator and it is abbreviated as EBT. What is the color of the solution when indicator is added to it and why? The color of the solution is blue. Blue color is the color of the free indicator. What metal ions are used for unchelated EDTA in the aluminium EDTA back titration method? Generally, standard solution of zinc or magnesium ions are used. Explain the principle of the aluminium EDTA back titration method. The principle is the titration of unreacted or unchelated EDTA left in the solution of aluminium EDTA mixture against standard zinc solution at pH around 10 using aerochrome black tea as indicator. The blue color produced as a result of free indicator turns to wine red at the end point. Why in the back titration color changes to wine red at the end point? The color at the end point is wine red due to the formation of zinc EBT complex. State the reactions involved. There are two steps. I have clearly and neatly indicated the reactions. In the first step, the analyte that is the aluminium ions reacts with the EDTA added to it in a known 
axis at around pH 10 under hot condition to form metal EDTA complex but the unreacted EDTA left in the solution it reacts with the zinc ions in the next step at pH 10 in the presence of free indicator already added to the aluminium EDTA solution when in the next step that is second step the metal EDTA is formed with the unreacted EDTA and the metal indicator wine red color is produced that shows the end point. The first reaction is a slow reaction, the second is a fast reaction step. What are the reagents required in the titration? The reagents required are aluminium ions, EDTA solution around 0.01 molar, buffer which is a mixture of ammonium chloride and ammonium hydroxide, aerochrome black tea indicator and standard solution of zinc ions that is 0 0.01 molar and is called as titrant. Explain the procedure in brief. Tip it out 25 ml aluminium solution in a 250 ml conical flask. Add a known excess of 0 0.01 molar EDTA solution to the conical flask. Add enough buffer solution to adjust the pH to around 10. Boil the mixture for a few minutes to ensure complete complexation of aluminium. Then cool to room temperature and again adjust the pH to 10. Add pinch of aerochrome black tea indicator. Titrate it with the standard 0 0.01 molar zinc sulfate solution filled in the puree until the color changes from blue to wine red. Record this volume as VZN. Repeat the titration to get a concordant value. Show the calculations involved. In back titrations, to calculate the amount of substance, we have to subtract amount of titrated excess from the initial amount of the reactant used. Here with the help of formula I have shown you the concentration of aluminium moles per liter is equal to MEDTA multiplied by the difference of volume of EDTA and volume of zinc ions run down from the puree divided by volume of aluminium ions taken that is the aluminium solution taken say this value is a multiply it with the atomic weight of aluminium we will get the concentration of aluminium in grams per liter what is this type of titration called it is called complexometric back titration is there an alternate method for aluminium EDTA titration? Yes, the alternate method is also based on back titration of unreacted EDTA in aluminium EDTA mixture using redox indicator in ferrocyanide mixture and adjusting the pH with acetate buffer. This method is preferred if aluminium solution is prepared in acid. What reactions takes place with the redox indicator? The reactions that takes place are in two steps, same as we have studied with the EBT indicator. Here in the first step, the aluminium reacts with the EDTA under hot conditions and it's a slow reaction. In the second step, the unreacted EDTA is titrated with zinc ions taken in the burette. This is a fast reaction and here at the end point the ferriferocyanide 
which is added along with the indicator reacts with the zinc ions to form a zinc ferrocyanide precipitate whose color is shown at the end point why what are the drawbacks of redox titration method the acetate buffer used during the determination shows ph 5.5 which is not as effective as it should be if it is around 4.75 therefore the acid of the aluminum solution has to be neutralized with ammonia before adding acetate buffer to it what are the reagents re used with redox indicator method the reagents used are 0.05 molar edta solution 0.05 molar zinc solution acetate buffer to adjust the ph to around 4 ferricyanide and ferrocyanide solution mixed with 0.5% solution of 33 dimethyl naphthidine in ammonia as indicator so what is the indicator used in the redox method it is 33 dimethyl naphthidine in ammonia explain the procedure in brief of the aluminum edta method with redox indicator take aluminum solution in a flask around 40 to 50 mg aluminum dilute it to 100 ml add exactly 50 ml of 0.05 molar edta solution if the solution is acidic add ammonia to bring the ph to around 3 to 4 add 20 ml of acetate buffer boil it and keep it boiling for 2 to 3 minutes wait till it cools down add 0.5 ml of ferrocyanide ferricyanide solution along with 3 to 4 drops 0.5% 33 dimethyl naphthidine solution as indicator titrate with zinc solution till the color changes to pink titrate slowly and stir vigorously that is shake the flask vigorously especially close to the end point which is a better method for determination of aluminum with edt and why the first method with ebt indicator is better than the second redox indicator method as less reagents are required for titration in the first method name any other metal ion that can be determined using edta back titration method nickel ions are also determined with edta back titration method what is the full form of edta the full form of edta is ethylene diamine tetra acetic acid write the structure of edta so i have shown you the structure of edta learn it and by heart it i have taken many questions more than 25 questions so that you can prepare well for your exam all the best thanks for watching this video till end please like and share the video don't forget to subscribe to my channel dr rani mohan padhyay take care of yourself bye